Redshirt freshman O-lineman Michael Beaton has loved acting for as long as he can remember, but he first got involved in theater through the influence of a high school teacher in his hometown of Dallas, Oregon. That winter, my senior year, I wasn't doing anything. She said, hey, we've, we've got a part that'd be perfect for you. You know, you're a big guy, you're intimidating, this would be great. And I said, well, what part is it? And uh, it was for a musical. I wasn't a musical. <laughs> I will admit that right now. <laughs> It was for a musical called Good News, and uh, the bad guy was this big, dumb football player. So I basically had to play myself. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun, a lot of hard work. I really enjoyed it because coming from a football background, it was just another discipline. Despite his high school experience, Beaton arrived at Oregon State not planning on majoring in theater. But after spending time in exploratory studies and dabbling in various performing arts classes, he realized it was the program for him. Really everything took off when I took the uh, oral interpretation class taught by George Codwell here. It was a fantastic class and I was really, really good at it. And uh, actually, that's how I got my first part in actual play. And they needed somebody to play a bartender and I got to look intimidating and that's mainly how I get most of my parts. <laughs> Beaton's breakout role came at the 2011 Spring One Act Festival in Corvallis where he played an inmate named Cody in Alex Johnston's Behind Bars. The uh, Spring Student uh, One Act Festival was probably the most fun I've had that year, aside from football, of course. I was a little bit worried because I was afraid I wouldn't have enough time to do it. But uh, I auditioned, had a lot of fun, and I got a part as playing Cody, who was uh, unfortunately a skinhead inmate at a California maximum security prison. But uh, I had lines, I was talking, and I got to play the bad guy, which is what I love to do. And I was working with some great people. It was just a lot of fun. I've gotten some flack about majoring in theater from some people. Coach Cab has definitely been on my case about it, in a good way. Michael Beaton, the actor, I tease the heck out of him, kind of needle him about it, but he's good about it, so it's kind of a fun deal. He's always saying to me, always saying, you know, this is your scene out here on the football field. You gotta be a mean guy, you gotta be consistent. <laughs> and that's his thing. You know, to be honest, I like to see kind of some more of uh, him in a meeting, you know, with uh, his acting skills, he could probably lighten up the room quite a bit, so I'd like to see that come out of him. Just working with uh, all the theater kids, they're really amazed that, how can you be a football player and, you know, be a student and, you know, be acting with us at the same time? And, you know, it's certainly a lot of work, but uh, I love it. I'm glad I'm here because of football, because now I can, you know, play football, which is great. And also, you know, continue to be the actor. Mm -hmm.